I'm so glad you're here. Welcome back to Made with Miss Madeline. It's called Made because we're going to be making something today. And I'm so excited to show you what our craft is going to be. If you haven't watched our other videos yet, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can make all of those crafts with us, like a cactus and a cute little mushroom friend and even a butterfly. I can't wait to make those with you too. Would you like to know what we're going to be making today? Okay, I wonder if you know what these are. Wow, they're all around. Do you know what these are? These are animals that live in the ocean and they are called jellyfish. Have you ever seen a jellyfish before? Maybe you've seen one in real life or at an aquarium or even on TV or in a movie. All of these jellyfish are so cute, but I'm noticing that these look like drawings of jellyfish or cartoon jellyfish. I wonder what a real jellyfish looks like. We're going to find out today and also make a jellyfish craft. When it's all done, it's going to look something like this. Notice how it looks a little bit like these cartoon jellyfish. I'm so excited to make it with you. So first we need to get our supplies. For this craft, you will need some pink construction paper, or if you want to use a different color, you can use that too. Scissors, glue, some googly eyes if you have them, some string or yarn. I'm using white, but you can use any color that you have, and a black marker or crayon. Now would be a good time to pause the video while you or a grown-up get all of your supplies ready. When you're ready, you can come back and press play. Do you have all of your supplies ready? Great! I'm so excited to look at some pictures of real jellyfish. We were noticing that these are some cartoon jellyfish. Do you think jellyfish look like this in real life? Hmm, I wonder if they have some of the same things, but they might look a little bit different. Ready to see? Let's look. Whoa, this is a real life jellyfish. Do you notice how some of the parts are the same as the cartoon jellyfish? The shape is kind of the same, and they have these long things coming off of them. Do you know what those are called? They have a special name. Those things are called tentacles. And tentacles are special because they have an electricity that comes off of them. Why do you think they have that? Jellyfish use that to keep other animals away so that they don't get hurt and they also use it to help them catch food to eat. Wow, jellyfish tentacles are so cool. I'm noticing that the jellyfish has some fluffy kind of looking shorter tentacles and also some long stringy tentacles. Hmm, so let's keep that in our brains because we're gonna be using what we know about jellyfish and their tentacles to make our jellyfish craft today. Ready to start making? The first part of my jellyfish that I am going to make is the jellyfish's body. Wow, I wonder how we can make that. I'm gonna show you an easy way that we can draw the shape for our jellyfish's body. I am going to start with my pink paper since I decided to make my jellyfish pink. If you want to make yours a different color, you can get your different color paper now. Notice how my jellyfish's body has a big curve. So we are going to use a trick of writing one of the letters of the alphabet to make our jellyfish's body. Look again, what letter do you think we might want to draw that looks like our jellyfish? Hmm. 
If you guessed the letter C, you were right. We are going to draw a big letter C, and that's going to help us cut out our jellyfish. So let's get our black marker or crayon so that we can draw our letter together. Have you ever drawn a letter C before? Let's do it together. I have my black marker and I am going to pick one of the sides of my paper that is straight so that the bottom part of the jellyfish's body is already flat. I'm going to use this side of the paper and I'm going to start up here and a letter C is kind of like a big curve or half a circle. So I'm going to make my big letter C that goes all the way from the top part of my paper down to the bottom part of my paper. What letter did we write? Letter C. And now I'm ready to cut it out. Every time we cut, we always practice holding our scissors the right way. We always put our thumb in the smaller hole and our other fingers in the bigger hole. And our thumb looks up at the ceiling. This helps us cut more neatly. Let's get started. I'm going to hold my paper with one hand and cut with my other hand. Here I go. Now, don't get rid of this other pink paper yet because we need to use part of it to make the tentacles. We are going to cut some long strips of paper to make the tentacles. So I'm going to use this other side of my paper that I didn't use for my jellyfish's body and start cutting some strips of paper for my jellyfish's tentacles. Just like every time we do a craft, we know that we do not have to be perfect cutters. We're still practicing. So we're gonna do our best to cut some strips of paper. Ready? Let's cut together. decided to cut one, two, three, four strips of paper for my tentacles. How many did you cut? For the next step, I decided to make my jellyfish's tentacles look kind of wiggly like they did in the water. And to do that, I folded my jellyfish's tentacles to make the tentacles look wiggly like this. Would you like to know how I did that? I'll show you. When I folded them, I chose one strip of paper to start with, and I'm gonna use my fingers and start at the end and make a little fold like this. Then I'm going to flip my paper over so that the folded part is facing down and fold it back again. And I'm gonna keep going like that, turning it over so that the folded part is down Flipping it back, turning it over, flipping it back, turning it over, folding it back, turning it over, folding it back. You're getting it. Turn it over, fold it back, turn it over, fold it back. And one more, let's turn it over and fold it back. Look at my little piece of paper that I folded. But watch what happens when I open it. Ta-da! It looks like a wiggly jellyfish tentacle. I'm going to do the same thing for my other three tentacles. And you can do yours too.
tentacles. Now that I cut out my tentacles, I am going to get some string and my string is going to look like those super long tentacles that we saw in the picture of the jellyfish. When it's done, it's going to look a little bit like this. So to do that part, I used some white yarn or string that I had at my home and I cut it into some smaller sized strips of string. I decided to cut one, two, three, and I'm gonna put them in between my other tentacles. If you don't have white string, you can also use a different color and use your imagination for your jellyfish. You can use lots of different types of string that you might have in your house. Now that I have all of the parts of my jellyfish cut out, it's time to start gluing it together. I'm going to get my glue stick and start sticking my tentacles that I made from paper onto my jellyfish's body and also gluing the tentacles that I made from string onto my jellyfish's body. So I'm going to flip my jellyfish over to the back. The back side is the side that I can see the marker lines on. The front side, I'm gonna try to hide the marker lines that I drew. And I'm gonna start putting some dots of glue where I'm wanting my tentacles to go. Here's the first one. Number one, then I'm gonna leave a little bit of space, put number two, leave a little bit of space, number three, and on the end, number four. Now I said I was going to put my stringy tentacles in between. So I'm going to put some glue in between my paper tentacles and stick my white string there to add some extra tentacles to my jellyfish. It's looking so great. There we go. Now that all of my tentacles are stuck on, I'm going to turn my jellyfish back over so that I can do the last part, which is the face. I am using some googly eyes for my jellyfish, but if you don't have googly eyes, you can also use a black marker or crayon to draw the eyes of your jellyfish. I'm going to get my glue stick again, put some glue on the back of my googly eyes and stick them right here in the middle of my jellyfish's face. There we go, looking so great. Now I'm ready for the very last part of my jellyfish, which is giving it a nice smile. I'm using my black marker again to draw a happy little smile on my jellyfish. And if you've watched Made with Miss Madeline before, you know that sometimes I like to add some cute pink cheeks on the crafts that I make. So I'm going to get my pink marker and draw some little cheeks right here. Oh, it's looking so cute. You could also add some eyelashes or some other decorations to your jellyfish if you want to. Wow, we made such a cute little jellyfish craft. Where is your jellyfish going to swim? Are you going to give your jellyfish a name? My jellyfish's name is Floaty because jellyfish float in the water. I wonder what your name will be. I would love to see your jellyfish craft when it's all finished. You can ask a grown up to send me a message with a picture of your jellyfish craft. And if you have another idea of a craft you would like to make with Miss Madeline next time, you can put that in your message too. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out all of our other craft videos and a new one next week. Thank you for spending time with me today. I hope that you keep on making and I will see you next time. Bye for now.